One of these stars is sitting in the secret square, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $5,000. Which star is it? Racer Drago. Chris Diaz. Kamor. B. Nookie. John R. Hall. Lady Sheba. Bold Ashcore. Kendall M89. Or Cirrus Sky Dragon, all in the Hollywood Squares! And here's the master of the Hollywood Squares, D.S. Tennyson! Hello, everyone, thank you very much. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars! That's okay. As long as you hear me, okay. As long as you hear me now, that's okay. Welcome, everyone, to the Hollywood Squares. We have a special game here for you tonight. Now, this is not the Game Show Network. This is not, I'm not Peter Marshall. This is my new avatar first for this channel. This is my new human avatar to be more diverse to people, but let's say hello now to our two contestants. We have M1 Frank as Mr. X and Mr. Circle tonight. It's Camito. How are you all doing today? Doing good. Hey. So we'll start with Mr. M1 Frank. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, first of all, you could just refer to me as just Frank. Uh, okay. I am. I, I, uh, it's okay. I'm an aspiring uh, YouTuber and uh, Twitch streamer. I mostly run on uh, shooting games, and I just. Try to ha uh, try to have fun on my downtime. That's always good. We all love to have fun. And next we have Kamito. How are you doing? Doing all right. Good. Tell us a little about yourself. I'm not doing much That's of okay. note at the moment, but I used but I used to be but I used to do volunteer work, and that oh, was nice. pretty rewarding. Nice volunteer work. Volunteer work is always good. Now, players, let's get acquainted with the Hollywood Squares. The object of the game is to achieve three stars in a row, either across, up and down, or diagonally. Just let the contestant turn the stars and uh, giving an actual response or make you an up. That's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250. In addition, for the first three games, our players vie for a secret square prize package, currently valued at over $5,000. And Kenny Williams, what's the prize package now? And this time, the first secret square is a vacation for two in Guadalajara, Mexico. We'll jet you from Los Angeles to Econotel's Plaza del Sol Hotel, located in Guadalajara's exclusive shopping complex, gourmet dining and poolside recreation at the Plaza del Sol from Econotel's of Mexico. And take along a beautiful assortment of jewelry in the Golden Manor of Monet, designed and crafted by Monet, master jeweler, and a $500 assortment of Ditto's jeans and tops that hug the curves, tie tops, tank tops, drawstrings, halter and t-shirts, hand-painted and it's each one a work of art furnished by Dittos. Pack them in Leeds First Class Luggage, a unique experience in style and utility, handsomely fashionable with lightweight design for greater handling comfort. First Class by Leeds, plus his and her Zippo windproof lighters, regular and slim models, enriched in gold and elegant Zippo Manufacturing Company, and a GAF 505 XL Super 8 sound movie cam with five times power zoom lens and automatic exposure, and a GAF 3100 S Super 8 sound movie projector for sound recording features. All right, let's get started with the game, and the show's all mine, Secret Square, and one more thing, the subject will be before the show to help with their plus, but they're hearing the actual questions for the first time. Now, Frank, we'll start with you. Pick a star. Uh, I'll go with uh, Cyrus Sky Dragon in the middle. Cyrus Sky Dragon in the middle. Here's your question. Is it possible for a dog to blush? Uh, do we have any dogs in the uh, in the audience, let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have a dog persona. All right. So. You got one right here. <laughs> okay. No. See, the furries. Right. Right. I'm going to I'm gonna say, oh. I'm going to say the answer is no. All right. Do you agree or disagree, Frank? Uh, I'm not entirely sure of myself, so I'll agree. You're right to agree that they cannot blush, only humans can. So we put next there. Your turn now, Camito. Ah. All right. Um, I'll go with uh, Lady Sheba. Lady Sheba's up next. That's the secret square! Hey! Five thousand prize package incoming. You can get this life with our player. Here's your question. Here it is. Good luck. Here we go. Okay. True or false? Germany drinks the most beer in the world per person. True or false? Uh, I would probably say false. Okay, do you agree or disagree, Camito? Get this right and you win the prize package. I'm gonna disagree. You should have agreed. 
The false claim was correct. The Czech Republic drinks the most beer uh. per person. So in turn, we put oh. next there. Your turn now, Frank. Where do you want to go? Oh. Oh. Damn. Uh, I'll go with uh, Chris for the win. Chris, for $250 in the first one, here's your question. There are only two countries in the world where you cannot purchase Coca-Cola. One is Cuba. Where is the other? That's a hard one. <laughs> um, it's Cuba. It might be. Um, I'm gonna say in um, Chile. Yes. I do That's agree or disagree, yes. Frank. Uh, I'm gonna disagree on that one. You're right to disagree. North Korea is the other country in the world. You get the money and 250 of bucks. Ooh. Nice. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Good work. So we have a two so two hundred dollars on the scoreboard right now for you. We have another secret square coming up. Can anyone with a surprise package? And Circle starts this secret square from Berkline. Comfort is yours in this beautifully styled family room grouping. Deep tufted seats and tufted pillow wrap arms designed for years of comfort and easy care by the craftsmen at Berkline. And enjoy the Wedge, Zenith's most popular modular stereo with precision built-in components and rich natural allegro sound at Zenith. The quality goes in before the name goes on. Plus, dentine. You'll taste the difference with dentine. It has a snappy, tingly flavor all its own. Dentine makes your mouth taste clean, not sweet. Plus $1,000 worth of lambs. Quazelle's lighting's house full of lights, lamps for every room, designed in the tradition of American craftsmen, glass hand-blown and hand-decorated, all furnished by Quazelle Lighting, and $1,000 worth of plants and flowers. Your neighborhood teleflorist will send flowers and plants for your home or it be sent to friends and loved ones by wire, furnished by Teleflora. Okay, the next year has been selected, and this time Camino will be after start the next game. Please put the star. Let's see, I'll go with B. B in the bottom center, here's your Hi. question. The U.S. Navy uses this simple electronic peripheral for control of their periscopes. What is it? Well, it can't... I mean... Um, for control of their periscopes... Um, I would... I would probably say, uh, one of those, um... Valve... Attorney... Uh, uh, turn wheels. Valve turn wheels, okay. Do you agree or disagree, Camino? Uh, I will agree. You should have disagreed. They actually use an Xbox controller nowadays. Believe it or not. But an X there. Yeah. I mean, it, that makes sense. <laughs> you want now? I will go with uh, si I will go with uh, Cyrus Sky Dragon. Cyrus oh. Sky Dragon, top center. Here is your question. Here we go again. Who is most likely to be colorblind? Men or women? Um, is that hmm. part of the question? Who is most likely to be colorblind, men or women? Oh, um, I think it would be women. Okay. Your okay. remark. Do you agree or disagree, Frank? I think it's men, so I'll disagree. You're right, disagree. It is men, believe it or not. It's a thing, so I don't know. But thank oh, you, I'm not colorblind. We put next there. Your turn now, Camino. Where do we go now? Wow. <laughs> Who you want now, Camito? Yeah, I know. Um, who's that in the top middle? I can't Kendall? see from here. Kendall. Kendall. Kendall for a Kendall. block. Kendall, I'm going to go with that question. one, yeah. Kendall for a block. Here we go with the question. Here it is. True or false? Is it possible for a newborn baby to pick up their parents' accent from inside the womb? Well, true or false? I believe they say... Well... It's got to be true. I'll say true. All right. Do you agree or disagree, Camito? Mm, I disagree. You should have agreed. It actually is true. Believe it or not. We can't put next year. Your turn again, wow. Frank. Oh, what? Heck. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go with Kendall for the win. Kendall for the win. $500 total. Here's the question. Before becoming a hedgehog, what was Sonic's original species supposed to be? Um, I know this. That that would be a rabbit. 
Rabbit, do you agree or disagree, Frank? Now, oh, see, that's one question I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to agree with him. You should have disagreed. It's actually supposed to be an armadillo, believe it or not. That's the thing. So we put a circle there. Oh. You're tricking me. You're back in it. You're tricking me. Oh, I didn't know okay. that. All right. All right. Yeah, so I didn't know that. that All right. Oh. Rolling around. Uh. Okay. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Bolt. Bolt Ash Core in the top left. Here's your question. Before the use of bug repellents today, Egyptians used this to ward the flies away from the pharaoh. What is it? Hmm. What did the Egyptians use to ward flies away from the pharaoh? Interesting question. Probably wish they had more of them when Moses decided to hit them with the locusts or something like that. I can only imagine. <laughs> Um, all right. I am going to go ahead and say, um, you need an answer. I'm going to go ahead and say nets. Small, like. All right, nets. So nets do you agree or disagree, fiber. Camino? Uh, I will disagree. You're right, does this agree? It actually was honey glaze on the servants. It's a weird thing, but apparently it happens. So we put a circle there. Oh, well. Wow. Mm. So that's Sacrifice why people like honey on the servants. Your turn, Frank. <laughs> I'm thinking about the holy cloth. I'm going to go with Racer for the block. Racer to block again. Here is the question. Here it is. Contrary to popular belief, the Canary Islands weren't named after the birds. They were instead named after what? Hmm. Hmm. Checking my database. Um, I'm going to say it's named after a fruit. Named after a fruit. Agree or disagree, Frank? Uh, I'm going to say disagree. You're right, disagree. They're named after a dog. They're named after a dog. You put next there. Your turn again, Camito. Oh. Wow. All right. Well, going to have to... Gonna have to go with John for the block. John the block, here's the question. Here we go. In the English dictionary, this one specific word has more definition entries than any other word with a record of 430. What is it? Uh, what word in the English dictionary? Uh, um, I, I think, I think, I think it's pro- I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. We're gonna pass, I passed the question. All right, pass the question. Are we getting a new question? And here is a new one for you. What do the letters of the famous candy M and M's stand for? Um. Uh, what was the letter again? The letter M. What do the letters of the famous candy M and M's stand for? What What do they stand for? M and M's. Uh, okay. Um. Okay. Uh, how about? Uh, how about milk and molten? Doesn't mean my guess. Milk and molten. No, so do you agree head. or disagree, Camino? Uh, I'll disagree. Right, disagree. It's Mars and Marie. Mars and Marie. So we put a circle there. Your turn again now, Frank. Huh. Hmm. I'm going to go with uh, Lady for the block. Lady to block. Here's the question. Thank Let's you. do this. This country has the hottest spot ever with a temperature of 136 degrees Fahrenheit. In what country is it located? Uh, I would probably say, um, Brazil. Agree or disagree, Frank? I can't say anything different, but. <laughs> uh, what was the question again? The question was, this country has the hottest spot ever in the world with a, with a temperature of 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Which country is it located in? She said Brazil. Agree or disagree? 136 degrees Brazil. Get an answer. D disagree. You're right. Disagree. It's Libya. Libya has the hottest spot in the world. So we put next here. Your turn again, Camuto. Oh, wow. All right. Near the equator somewhere. I'm going to go with Chris. Chris to block. Here's the question. How many years does a copyright protection in the U.S. grant to an author after their death? 50 years, 70 years, or 100 years? Oh, copyright. Yeah, copyright. Um, I, I believe 
It might be 50 years. Agree or disagree, Camito? I'm gonna agree. You should have disagreed. It was seven uh -oh. years, Cat, but next year, your turn, Frank. Wow. Oh. Let's go back to Chris for the win. Chris for a $500 win again. Here's the question. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> what was the original name for the New York Yankees? Was it the Trailblazers, the Highlanders, or the Patriots? Original name for the New York Yankees. I'm gonna You'll need to repeat the, the first of the three options. Trailblazers, Highlanders, or Patriots? Oh. Um. I don't know much about baseball. I'm just gonna I'm gonna guess it's the um, Trailblazers. Agree or disagree, Frank? I'm gonna say disagree. You're right, disagree it is the Highlanders, believe it or not. That's another 500 bucks for you. Good job. Ooh. Good game. I honestly thought it was the Patriots. Patriots is a football team in New England. But now we got a f oh. another secret square coming up. 500 dollars to nothing right now. We have another secret square coming up. Kenny Williams, please. And this time, X starts the secret square for a man has exclusive three door ice and water side by side. The first three door refrigerator freeze with a patented separate ice and water dispenser, completely free of frost, made by world famous Amana. Plus, a Broyhill dining room featuring embossed door panels, massive double crown china with cathedral shaped doors, highlight this elegant suite, furnished by Broyhill. And the Maytag food waste disposer it gobbles up everything from celery to steak bones, truly tougher than nails, made by Maytag. The dependability people also selected from one of the 4,800 Western Auto stores, a coffee maker. Western Auto, the complete family store featuring items for home, auto, and leisure living. Plus, the Maytag Giant Capacity Dishwasher with three-level washing action, top, center, bottom, and exclusive self-cleaning micro-mesh filter. Quiet operation from Maytag. All right, we have left another secret square. The secret square now was come more. It was the only square that wasn't picked in that entire round, and now it's secret square. We picked another secret square for that one, and now we start with, again with Frank. Thanks Where do you want to go first? I'm going to go uh, somewhere different this time. I'm going to go with Volt. Volt Ash Core. First pick the secret square. Hey. Secret square has been selected once again. Hopefully you get it this time. Here's the question. I'm Listen carefully. Next to a celebrity. Great. All right, here's the question. <laughs> Listen carefully, Volt. Why to everybody else? What kind of bird is Walsh and Gromit's nemesis, Feathers McGraw? What kind of bird is he? I believe he's a pigeon. Agree or disagree, Frank? I'm going to agree. You should have disagreed. He's a penguin. Remember the short, the wrong choice? He was a oh. penguin. So for that, we put a circle there. Your turn, uh, Camino. Yeah. I don't know that show very well. Shout, you fool. Let's, Let's see. Everyone. I'm going to go with Cirrus. Cirrus in the Here's the question. Here we go. All right. All right. Which towering professional wrestler passed away on January 27th, 1993? Andre the Giant, Yakazuna, Bam Bam Bigelow. <sighs> That was the eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. Okay, do you agree or disagree, Camito? I agree. Right, to agree, it was Andre the Giant. He was also an actor. And the movie The Princess Bride, I believe that's correct. Yeah. So we put a circle there. Your turn now, Frank. I love them. The Gentle I Giant. Mm. I'm going to go with uh, Kimura nice to person. Block. Kimura to Block, here's the question. Here we go. According to the Guinness World Records, who holds the longest-lasting game show announcer record? Is it Johnny Gilbert? Rod Roddy, or Charlie O'Donnell? Uh, I'll say Charlie O'Donnell. Agree or disagree, Frank? Uh, disagree? You're right, disagree. It is Johnny Gilbert, the announcer of Jeopardy. So we put an X there. Your turn again. Oh, wow. wow. I would not nice. have made the game from that. All right. Um, I'll go with B. B in the bottom center. Here's the question for you. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Which famous comedian who passed away in 2017 voiced Mr. Potato Head in the Toy Story films? Andy Kaufman, Robin Williams, Don Rickles. Oh my god, you got my best subject. It's Don Rickles. Alright, do agree or disagree, Camino? Uh, I disagree. You should have agreed it was Don Rickles. You messed that one up. Oh, so we next to your turn again, though, Frank. Uh, um, hockey puck. <laughs> yeah, hockey puck. John for the win. 
John to win it for 750 total. Here's the question for you. <laughs> True or false? Cyclones spin in a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. True or false? Um, uh, you cut out, Genesis. Oh, man, was, True or that, false? That Cyclones spin in a clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere. Um, well, I w I'm, I'm going to try to say, um, um, true. Agree or disagree, Frank? Disagree. You should have agreed it was true, believe it or not. So we put a circle there. Your turn again, Camito. Ooh. I want to go this one. All right. Two ways. Two ways. I'm going to go with Shiva. Shiva with the win and... 200 yards for you. Here is the question. Let's get this under over with and dealt with. <laughs> True or false? The unicorn is the national animal of Scotland. Uh, I say false. Agree or disagree, Camito? I mean, I've definitely heard weirder, so I'm actually going to disagree. You're right, disagree. It is true. The unicorn is the national animal. It's gone. You got oh, money. Wow. Yay! Finally! Five hundred two fifty now. Both players are on the board. No more secret squares. So we go back to Camino for the next pick. Who do you want? I'm. Um, hmm. I will go with uh, Kamor. More in the bottom right. Here's the question. Who is the voice of Darth Vader in the TV show Star Wars Rebels? Was it James Earl Jones, Matt Sloan, or Mark Hamill? Matt Sloan. Okay, do you agree or disagree, Camito? I agree. You should have disagreed. It was the voice of the main line in the movies, James Earl Jones. Put it next there. Your turn again, Frank. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Sky or Sky Dragon in the middle. Sky or Sky Dragon in the center again. Here's the question for you. What is Madonna's first name? Uh, this is not a trick question. It is actually Madonna. All right, Madonna. So do you agree or disagree, Frank? Uh, agree. You're right to agree. It is Madonna. Madonna's her real first name. So we put next there. You're going again, oh. Camino. Madonna Chacon. I will go with uh, Volt. Vault to block. Here's the question. Here it is. According to Forrest Gump, life is like what? A handful of roses, a box of chocolates, a lollipop. It's a box of chocolates. Okay, life is like a box of chocolates. Do you agree or disagree, Camino? You know what you're going to get. I am going to agree. Right to agree. Life is like a box of chocolates. Apparently, I keep cutting off for some of this. Okay, put a circle there. Your turn again, Frank. Uh, did someone say true? Uh, I'll go with. Uh... B nookie. B nookie in the bottom center. Hi. Here's the question for you. Can you get lead poisoning from being pricked with a pencil? Can you get lead poisoning from being pricked with a pencil? Yeah, that's Is the that question. What you asked? Yes. No, actually no, you can't. I don't think they're made with lead anymore. I do agree or disagree, Frank. I'm gonna agree with that. You're right to you're right to agree you cannot get lead poison from being pricked with a pencil. I don't think they're made with lead. They're made with graphite nowadays, but we put next there, you're turning again, Camito. Yeah. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna do this. Ah, uh, heck. I, uh... Let's see, I guess I'll go with Kendall. Kendall You're in right? the top center. Mm -hmm. There's two ways to win. Hope you get them both. It's blocked. Here's the question. <laughs> Who is the person closely associated with Poor Richard's Almanac? Um, unfortunately, I don't know hey, well yeah. about history. Can I get a different question? You can. The answer to that was Ben Franklin, but here's a new question for you. Here we go. Ah. Let's try this. And what was the answer for that dictionary one? Dictionary was set. That one first was set. S-T-E-S-E-T. -S -E -T. Let's try this question. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Because you got, like, game set match. There we go. All right, here's a new set. one. Do some deer bark? Um, you cut out there. What you do some deer, do some deer bark? Unless there were the unless there were a dog, I would say yes. I say yes. Agree or disagree, Camito? 
I'm going to agree. You're right to agree. So they bark when scared or nervous. That's a thing that happens. So we put a circle oh. there. Your turn again, Frank. How do you want to do this? What? Deer is another word for dog. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear. Whose turn is I'm it? I'm going to go with Frank? Racer for the block Frank. here. Okay. Actually. Racer with the block going that way. I see you trying to go that way. Here's the question. You could win somewhere. Here we go. Time is up! Oh. Aww. The horn just went off, so time is out for the game. Really and as a result, the winner tonight is our good friend Frank with $500. Yay! Good job. Good job. Good game. <laughs> so you win the game and the money you earn. Now, also, Camino gets $250 for his hard efforts. When you think of it, a tie, we'd add more money to your score. But you have the money you have. We thank for playing the game. And as for Frank, you get a lovely prize for hearing on the syndicated version of the show. Kenny Williams, what is it? It's Pontiac Smart Efficient Subcompact Astro with responsive force under their all new Pontiac built cast iron engine, distinctive styling overhead cam, three speed floor shift, Pontiac Astra. So that is yours to keep no matter what happens. You have walked out of here with five and hours easy pickings. Though Camino can I give you a run for his money there for a brief moment. But you are the current winner of our show, and we thank you all for attending us here. Until then, GSJ is saying thanks for playing the Hollywood Square. Yeah, that was a good game. For the record, the reason why I was thinking Patriots is I was thinking that the. Uh, New York Yankees were trying to become the Patriots before the Patriots were. Because the Yankees were made, the Yankees were made, like, way back in the 1900s. That's fair. 